Yes, he's doing fine. <laughs> the doctors say he's going to do just fine. <laughs> oh. Who is it? It's me, Bath India. Hello. Hi. Come in. Please, go ahead. I, I can manage on my own. Of course. Why did you want to see me? It's about my wedding. I'd very much like you to be there today. No, I can't. Please, Beth, you must. I want you to be my maid of honor. Well, the Baroness is going to be all right. Claire's bringing her down right now. As soon as she gets here, I'll begin. You'll tell us the story of the cottage? Yes, I'll tell you everything. Finally. Well, all these years you kept us in the dark, pretending to be dead. Why, Father? Why? is presented by P.H. Ballon. Oh, are you this woman's father? Yes. You're using an alias here? What name do you know him by? The one he was given at birth, Brandon Spaulding. Oh, my God. Spaulding connection. Tell me, Father, now, why would you pretend to be dead? What are you doing here in Barbados? There are answers to your questions, but I'm afraid it's going to be difficult for you to accept Just them. tell me. All right, all right. I needed to be released. Released? From what? From being Brandon Spaulding. From everything. From my life in Springfield, the demands, the constant pressures to stay on top at every cost. But most of all, from the lies upon which that life had been built. You were the one who made your life that way. Oh, yes, I realized that. I had no one to blame but myself for the way things had turned out. So you staged your own death? Just like that? Without a thought for how your family might feel? I needed you. Did, did, did you ever think about that? No, of course not. We didn't matter, did we? <laughs> we were just one added pressure, one more burden, no. right? No, no, Alexandra, no. But you and your brother certainly made it clear that you had nothing more you wanted to have to do with me. How can you say that? because it's the simple truth. Alan had been secretly wishing for years that I'd die so he could take over Spalding Enterprises. And me? You? You hated me for having bribed Levonacek into leaving you. I did. And then you married your baron, went off to live in his godforsaken country and never returned home, never answered any of my letters, my calls. There were precious few of those. Yes, that's true, but you made it burningly clear that you wanted nothing more to do with me. Nothing. Not that I blamed you, really. I did want to be with you. What? Just before you died, I had decided to leave the Baron and come home to you. Why? You were my father. I wanted to be near you. I wanted to try and work out our differences. I never knew. Well, of course not. You never knew anything about me. When I needed your love, your your understanding, support, what did you do? You disappeared. You died. Why would you do that to me when I needed you more than ever before? I'm sorry, Alexandra. I am. But there was someone else back then who needed me as well. 
Someone I neglected for years who had never cut me off, never hated me, simply waited, waited for my return for such a long, long time. You want me to be your maid of honor? Yes, I do. <laughs> You're joking, right? I've never been more serious. But why? Why me? Well, to begin with, you're my only girlfriend in Springfield. Come on, India. We're not really friends. We hardly even know each other. Perhaps. But there's a strong connection between us. And what's that? Well, our feelings towards Lou Jack and, and Philip. And the way they feel for us. Now it binds us in a little bit, don't you think? Beth, it won't be a large ceremony. It's very small at City Hall. No walking down aisles, nothing like that. Just before people, Philip, and myself and our two witnesses. No. I can't do it. Why not? Philip. Why would you think that? Because you two almost got married last spring. And being at his wedding today, my... No, own... that's not the reason. Okay. What is the problem, then? I, I don't think I belong at the ceremony, that's oh, all. Oh, but you do. Don't you see? You belong there. The wedding can't happen without you. Oh, come on. It's true. Why? What do you want from me? Oh, God, I want your blessing. Without that, this marriage doesn't stand a chance. Oh, isn't that great? Yeah, that's great. That's, um... Listen, uh, there's something that I have to tell you. What? I'm going away. This time I think it's for good. No. Josh, you can't do that. I mean, Harlan needs you. No. He needs you. He needs to know that I won't come between the two of you again. Well, you don't have to leave town for him to know that. Yes, I do, Reeve. I think... It's the only way, right? He trusts you. That's not the point. It's me. It's that I don't trust myself. I, I... I love you. And I always will. And I will always watch you. And if I stayed in Springfield, I don't know if I could keep those feelings in check. I could help you. No. We tried that once before, remember? It didn't work. The night of the storm. Josh, that was one time. There will be other storms, though. There will be other nights. There always will be for us. I just have to go out on my own. I have to go out and try and start over again. I know, I know that you have to... I know you have to leave in time, but... But just, just wait. A month or... A couple weeks at least. I'm leaving today. Well, how do you think Harlan's going to feel if you just pack up and walk out? I can't think about that right now. I have to think about myself. I have to go out there and find my own life, Reva. Please, don't fight me on this. I, I feel like I'm drowning here. I feel like I have to do everything I can just... 